from the Mechelec degree, which was providing graduates through the 40s, 50s and 60s, the electrical and electronic programs evolved. At the time between the 40s and 60s, rural electrification was the big thing. There was a great need for power engineering. In the 1960s, electronics came along and UCD appointed the first professor of electronic engineering. Sean Scanlon, coming into UCD as professor of electronic engineering, brought an international perspective. He founded a journal, the International Journal of Circuit Theory and Applications, and also a conference, the European Conference on Circuit Theory and Design, and really pushed the international profile. Ten years later, Henri de Puer came. He grew the area of rehabilitation engineering, which has now evolved into biomedical engineering. I came here in October 1957, and I remember when I was in the main hall in Earlsford Terrace, which is now the National Concert Hall, I came and stood in the door there and I wondered, do I do engineering or do I do archaeology? Because I was fascinated by archaeology. And I finally said to myself, I'd never get a job as an archaeologist, so I did engineering. And my four years as an undergraduate here were really the happiest years in my life. In my final year, one of the courses we had as an option was biomedical engineering, which is one that uh, Harry had taught for, for many years at that yes, stage. Years, yeah. And it was a fantastic course, the one I loved. And I was always interested in medicine and biomedical engineering. And I think after taking that course, I knew it was the area I just really wanted to be in. I did my undergrad in electronic and electrical engineering, and then my PhD with Madeleine Larry in the Neuromuscular Systems Group. And the highlight was part of my PhD, I went over to the Rehabilitation Institute in Chicago, and I studied the electrical activity of the muscle in stroke survivors. My subject was electrical and electronic engineering, but in my final year, I studied under uh, the optics professor, John Sheridan. So it's sort of uh, optoelectronic style of engineering research that I'm doing at the minute. I'm just finishing up two years as a research engineer in UCD. We're finishing up our project with a, an industrial sponsor, uh, Huawei. We're hoping to work with them in the future as well. That would be fantastic. I've really enjoyed my two years of research so far. It's a challenging future. We come from a past where everything was in textbooks and few people had those textbooks. The graduates of today aren't using textbooks anymore. They're drowning in information and the important feature of the graduate of the future is going to have critical thinking. They have to extract from all that information uh, what's important. So the skills that we need to give them are how to decide what's important, how to use that information to make the world a better place.